I'm Jennifer Simmons, and I am playing Regina Kuntz in Rock of Ages. I am Olivia New Valley, and I'm playing Sherry Christian. Hey, I'm George Dinsmore. I play Stacy Jacks. Rock of Ages. My name is Bobby Bartling, and I am Lonnie Barnett in Rock of Ages. My name is Max, and I am playing Drew in Rock of Ages. Uh, well, my name is Cameron Eubanks, uh, and I'm one of the directors for Rock of Ages. I'm Ivy Munnerlin, and I am the other director of Rock of Ages, and I'm also the set designer, and I am actually in the ensemble for the show as well. So my character is Regina, and she, at the beginning of the show, works at the mayor's office. But when she finds out that the mayor is about to sell out the entire Sunset Strip, she does not like that. And so she kind of rallies from some of her old protest days. She went to Berkeley. So she decides she's going to go ahead and she is going to protest this building and destruction and ruining of everything that is the Sunset Strip. I would describe Sherry as a really fun, spunky uh, character. She has a lot of character development over the course of the musical and I love that about her. She she kind of uh, blossoms as a as a character. Uh, yes. <laughs> Stacy Jacks is a bit of a self-obsessed um, he's the world is is Stacy Jacks. The, the, it is his world and and everyone else just lives in it. He, Lonnie Barnett in Rock of Age is more of a state of mind, a physical apparition. My character Drew is, um, I think he's very kind-hearted, he's also very, he lacks intelligence at the same time. He's also very um, inexperienced um, with girls, um, but at the same time I think, you know, he just wants to rock and have a good time. My favorite song, I would have to say, is High Enough. Um, I, I think it's a really beautiful song. It's kind of like the pinnacle of the musical where Drew and Sherry just have a lot of pent up emotion and they don't know where they stand with each other. And I, think, I just think it's really beautiful probably pour some sugar on me. It's just a fun song to sing. I'm not even in that song, but I really enjoy watching it and I enjoy singing it backstage. So that's a, it's a really fun song. I enjoy it. I love Def Leppard anyway, so who doesn't? <laughs> my favorite song, Rock of Ages, is probably One of Dead or Alive, just because, I mean, that was already in my karaoke repertoire. I've already you know, sung and played it before and stuff. And, and, and it's just fun to get out on stage now in front of well, so far in front of no one, but with all the people on, because you do karaoke or something, you're sitting by yourself, but you get everybody in with it, and there's just, there's just a thing behind it. Would probably have to be Hard in My Heart, Shadows of the Night. It is a very, it's a really powerful song for a lot of the characters in it. Um, also, it has some great choreography in it um, by our choreographer, so it's, it's an awesome number. Mine would probably have to be uh, Hit Me With Your Best Shot. It is probably one of the funniest numbers in the show. The choreography is goofy and everybody gets super into it. And it's just, it's crazy funny. Come On Feel The Noise is my favorite song in the whole show. Come On Feel The Noise. I love that song. I love singing it. So my favorite character in Rock of Ages is actually probably Franz. Uh, Franz is so much fun. He's the guy who's kind of opposite of me. And of course I love him. He's hilarious. His character is so fun. Uh, but I really enjoy his character journey that he goes on because he grows a lot in the show because he goes from being really, really uh, scared of his father and wanting to do the right thing to standing up for himself and, and doing what he wants to do. And I think that's kind of the whole message of the show, which I really love. And you see it a lot in Franz. Lonnie. Um, I th and I think Bobby plays, does a great job playing him. He tells the whole story. He's kind of like the puppet master of the whole show. And He's funny and he keeps the audience engaged and I don't, I mean, the show wouldn't be anything without him. My favorite character. I don't know, I kind of like Lonnie. The guy, he leads it all along. He's got, he's got the great voices and the, the great energy and stuff. I, th I think he's, he kills it. Lonnie is my favorite. It's hard for me to pick one because I just love all the characters so much, but Lonnie probably. I like Sherry, probably. 
as a character. He's naive, but has the drive to succeed. Uh, we're both Franz. <laughs> uh, because the way Jacob Wilson plays it is just so more than we can imagine. He is bigger than life. Mm -hmm. He's amazing. My favorite part about being in the musical is the people. 100% after this whole year of not being able to be with anybody or around anybody. I think it's really awesome that, you know, we have a group of people that really care about each other and they're so talented. And um, my favorite part regarding the musical is the music. I, I love the 80s and I think it's just a wonderful show. Right. Um, I, I love the fact that I know all the songs and some of the people that come in. I, mean, I knew them years before the show ever came out, some people don't know that. That's kind of fun. But uh, it's, uh, I kind of came in late to this one, but, but right away, like everybody, you know, just gravitates all around you and it, it, it becomes a, I mean, some shows you get to the end and you become a family and this show I came in and I was part of the family. So I, I, I think that's a great part about it. Probably my costumes, shirts that if I was, Able, if I saw them out there, especially as a younger person, I would have been wearing them, been rocking them. Is this atmosphere, which I'm sure you'll be panning around to later, but uh, practicing where we're going to be performing in an outdoor setting, uh, you know, a summer show that everyone's has a will have a really good story to tell about this summer and this show. Started it all here at the Ice House. Uh, my favorite part is the music. And the whole show just has amazing themes. I, I really does, I really do think that it really talks a lot about chasing your dreams um, and, and not settling or, or not, not feeling like you're not enough because in reality you are and I think that's what this show does beautifully. Why should anyone see Rock of Ages? Because it's an amazing show. I mean, everything, I've been posting about it on Facebook like crazy, because I want everybody to come see the show, because everyone should see the show. I mean, there's fantastic tunes, everybody everybody knows these tunes. I mean, whether you're from that era or you're from the new era, I mean, everyone's heard them. I'm excited about the in-show pyrotechnics, not something you can do in an indoor theater, because they won't let you light matches or anything, and now we've got pyrotechnics going on. Uh, the fireworks after every show, uh, we've got the food trucks, I mean, the live band, energetic, excited people that have been putting in a lot of time to, to on stage and behind stage. And uh, it's just gonna be, I mean, it's gonna be a party all night is what it's gonna be. So if you like any kind of party, come. Rock of Ages is rock and roll. I mean, you know, going back to my character, Lonnie, he's really out there, but I think, I think everyone has a little Lonnie inside of them. And if they're not sure if they do or not, then give me a call. It's got great music. Um, the characters are very funny. And um, you got pyrotechnics, explosions, and fire. You got a live band. We got a live band. We got pyrotechnics, explosions, and we got good music and funny people. I think people really need this, and I think that was one of the pushes and drives that we that we thought when we were planning this show is a, a, a night where people can come and forget about anything that's going wrong in their lives or, or anything that's really bugging them and really buy into this story and, um, and listen to the, some of their greatest hits, some of their childhood hits. Yeah, I mean, I think people should come see the show because, I mean, not only do you get, you know, a fun night with, you know, live music and, and entertainment and just like, you know, the whole shebang, but you're also supporting local artists and local businesses, you know, whether it be food trucks or like our sponsor, like our local pharmacy in Optical. So, I mean, you know, you buying a ticket supports a lot of small businesses and a lot of just local artists. So, I mean, it's a really really cool experience, especially if you've never seen theater before. I think this is a really good introduction to it because it'll be music that you know and not random show tunes that you've never heard before in your life. Come see Rock of Ages. Come see Rock of Ages. Come see Rock of Ages. It's August 6th and 7th, Lexington Ice House Theater. It's August 6th and 7th at the Ice House Amphitheater. Yeah! August 6th and 7th at the Ice House Amphitheater in Lexington, South Carolina. Lexington, South Carolina. <laughs>